Around here, the mere whiff of higher taxes. No one likes tax at all, but it's a must. Taxes the patience of taxpayers. You know, there's, it's about prioritization of what your tax revenue is going to be. But as they'll tell you inside local shops like the sports page, a modest bump in the tax on sales hey is something they can swallow. Our checks are small, you know, so it's an 8 or $9 check. You're only adding a few pennies to it. As the charts and graphs showed today, Hamilton County needs to climb out of a $28 million hole, largest since the high point of the recession a decade ago. This is a significant direct reduction in the revenues that are the lifeblood of the county. Revenues that pay for operating the court system and for keeping the jail going, basic core services. As a marker, erasing the deficit would be equivalent to doing away with 230 jobs. No one's proposing that. The Budget Brain Trust is recommending a quarter cent increase in the sales tax. Over a full year's time, the projected revenue would be 38 million. The Board of Realtors has yet to take a position on it, but... In the past, we've been more supportive of a sales tax increase because that's where you have the most skin in the game. If approved, the sales tax would return to the current level once the temporary union terminal tax drops away in two years. The county's revenue stream has shrunk. The interest off investments took a big dip, as did money that used to flow from the state, which has further stressed townships statewide. Well, Green has lost over $2 million, but the county government has lost $66 million since 2011. Uh, there's going to be some public hearings about it this spring in April and May. It's the kind of budget problem that's not going to magically fix itself. Look for a decision about whether cuts or taxes coming in June. Reporting live, John London, WWT News 5.